Hello dear students, welcome to our channel Concept Corner. In this video, I am going to discuss how to find the mantissa of logarithm. In the last video, we have discussed how to find characteristic of a number of logarithm. So in this video, I will find discuss how to find the mantissa. So to find the mantissa, we know that we need a logarithmic table. So what is logarithmic table? First of all, we have to understand the logarithmic table. Logarithmic in logarithmic table there are three columns. In the first column there are serial numbers starting from 10 to 99. And in the second column this is called main column and next column is called mean difference column. So in the main column this is the main column. In main column we have Columns starting from 0 to 9. That means this one is 1 column. This one is 1 column. In this way, there are total 10 columns. You will. So, to watch, when you will watch this video, you will sit with a logarithmic table. Then you will understand. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are in mean difference, it starts from 1 to 9 and in the main column 0 to 9. So, when we find the main pizza, suppose I am going to find the log, log of log of 3, 5, 7, 9. So, when we will find 3, 5, suppose 3, 5, 7, 6. When we will find the log of 3, 5, 7, 6, first of all, we will see the number and we will divide the number 3576 in 3 parts. First of all, a group with 2 digit, then 1 digit, again 1 digit. So, this is the row number, this is the column number in the main column and this is the column number in the main differ mean difference column. So, 35, we will see 35 in this column. In this column, suppose this is 35. So, again 7 column, we have to see 7 is the main column number. Column number of main column. So, in 35, we will go horizontally to the 7 number column. Suppose this, this is 7 number column. So, we will write the value here. Suppose this value is x. 35 row and horizontal will go up to 7 number column. Suppose this value is x. Again, we have 6, which we have to see in the mean difference column. So, we will see 1, we will go again horizontally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this value. We will write this one. Suppose this is value y. So, this value is y. So, we will plus this value, add this value, x plus y. And we will at last put the decimal point in front of the number. So, in this way, we have to find the log of any number. So, I am going to find the log of this number. Suppose, how to find? First of all, if we convert it into standard form, then it will be easier for us. Or you can directly find the characteristic and then logarithm log of this number. So, I am converting it into standard form. If we write standard form, we have to make the number less than 10, that is 3.576 into how many, after how many digits the decimal place, uh, decimal point is given from here, from the end of the number to the this point to this point that means 3 digit from the right side so we have to give 10 q here so we know in logarithm finding the logarithm multiplication converts into addition so we can write log of 3.576 into log of 10 q and we know that in logarithm we discuss about base 10 so so here it will be plus we know in logarithm finding the logarithm we deal with the base 10 so if there is 10 is not written then also we will assume that this is base 10 
so log of 3.576 and here we can write 3 log of 10 and log of 10 means 1 so it will be 3 so we can write 3 plus log of 3.576 now this is the characteristic so characteristic part remains same and this part we will find from the logarithmic table so in logarithmic table we have these things in these things we have to make it 3 part 35 7 and 6 so i have a logarithmic table with me you will sit with a logarithmic table so first of all we will neglect the decimal point and we will find the 35 row in this column this is 10 11 in this way suppose this is 35 and here 0 to 9 0 to 9 and we have 35 then 7 so in 35 column we have 35 number column and in the main column 7 number 35 row 7 number column so 35 row in 7 number column we have the value we have the value 5 5 5 5 2 7 5 5 2 7 this is the value from the main in the 7 number column here and 35 number row here this value is 5527 and again we have 6 so we have to see this 6 in this mean difference column here, here we have column number 1 to 9 so in this column we have to see 6 number column in the row 35 same row 35 and we, we have this value 35 9 we have the value here 9 if you see the logarithmic table you will get the value here 9 so now plus this 2 number 7 and then 16 carry 1 3 5 5 so this is the value of main design but at last we have to give the decimal point in front of the number so log of 3 point log of 3.576 is what 0.5536 so at last we can write 3 plus this means what 3.5536 so in this way we can find the log of a number if we get the characteristic minus 3 suppose we get we assume that the characteristic we get minus 3 and the value is this 0.5536 then we have to write like this 3 bar 0.5536 if we write these things it means the minus sign is only in front of the 3 not in front of this decimal part remember it if we there is bar in the characteristic part the minus sign is only in front of the characteristic part not in front of the main teaser because main teaser is always positive so in this way we can find the value of logarithm in the exercise we will find more we will solve more sum so well, this is done for example so now we will go to exercise of class 10 chapter 5 So let's go to exercise of your chapter here. Exercise 5, class 10. So one number question is given. Find the characteristic of the logarithm of the following numbers. So we are given one number log of 6, 9, 8, 7. We have to find the characteristic of this number. Already in the earlier video, I had given some problems to find the characteristic. So, this is the same question. How to find the characteristic? We know that 
we have discussed the ways how to find the characteristic so in this sum say we can directly say the characteristic or after converting into standard form then also we can find so no need to do this how many digits are there there is no decimal point so non de for non decimal number how to find the characteristic for non decimal number we will count the number of digits and number of digits number of digits 1 2 3 4 so when the number of digit is n in a non decimal number then characteristic is n minus 1 so therefore characteristic is characteristic will be characteristic will be 4 minus 1 that means 3 for non decimal numbers no need to convert it into standard form because this sums only come as mcq one more question so you have to know how to find it directly so second number see second number we have <coughs> second number is similar see three number Se second number is also non decimal number three number see log of 0. Point 0 0 0 0 8 9 0 0 0 0 8 9 so in this video in this sum there is decimal point and in decimal point we have to see before decimal point how many digits are there or after decimal point how many zeros are there since in this sum before decimal point there is no digit this zero is insignificant not significant digit <coughs> so we have to see after decimal point up to first non digit non zero digit how many zeros are there we have to write here number of zeros number of zeros after decimal after decimal point up to Hash non digit non zero hash non zero digit hash non zero digit is eight here and after decimal point how many zeros are there? Four. Therefore characteristic will be characteristic will be when number of zeros is n after decimal then we have characteristic minus n plus 1 so we have to write minus 4 plus 1 that means minus 5 so in this way we will find the characteristic now another time is there for that time i am doing one suppose you see 7 number 7 number we have 7 number 3 5 point log of 35.492 so log of 35.492 35.492 here see in this case after decimal point there is no zero although if there is zero so after decimal point there is no zero although if there is zero then we neglect it because before decimal point we have digit this time so before decimal point there are two digit so you will write number of digit before decimal point number of digit before decimal point before decimal point what is the number of digit 2 digit 3 and 5 2 digits so therefore characteristic will be characteristic is in this case also characteristic is n minus 1 that means 2 minus 1 that means 1 so in this way we can find the characteristic of a number so rest of the sums of question number 1 and homework 3 we will solve this and put in the comment box or you will send to my whatsapp number i have provided in the last video 2 number next i am going to solve number 2 in 2 number we are given if log of 2925 given 
log of 2925 is given 3.3466124612 we have to find log of we have to find log of 2925 29.25 then log of 2.925925 log of 0.00295295525 then log of log of 2925 2925 we have to find this four value but we are only given log of 2925 is 3.46612 this value is given and we have to find this value so let's start with one suppose log of <coughs> log of 2925 log of 29.25 so first of all we will make it <coughs> This step because we are given log of two nine two five, so we will make it two nine two five. So if we can make it two nine two five, then we can put the value of this. So first of all, we can write it log of two nine two five. That means if we take this decimal point here, then the number will be similar to this one. So for that, we have to <coughs> take this decimal point at the end of the number. So when we take decimal point to the right side, then we know that the power of the ten comes negative. So we can write two nine two five into how many uh, after how many digit the decimal point is taken to right side two digit. So we have to write ten to the power minus two. So we know here log of Since here it is multiplication, so it will convert into addition. Log of two nine two five plus log of ten to the power minus two. So log of two nine two five we have already the value three point three point four six six one two. And here if we see here basis ten, although it is not written, but basis ten because in log finding the logarithm we deal with this ten. So log 10 by 10 means 1 and minus 2. That means here plus minus minus and 2. So when we add these two now, minus 2 and 3.46612, then we will get 3 minus 2, 1, 1.46612. This is the value of log of 29.25 using this value which was given to us. So next one say 2.19. This You can solve this one as similar with this one only the decimal point is here. I am showing solving this step, this one. This one is for you. Next is log of zero point zero zero two nine two five. Again, I will convert. Make it as like this one. 2925. Then we can put the value. That is all. We have to make the number 2925. So if we want to make log of, so this time decimal point point we have to take here at the end of the number. So after how many digit we have to keep the decimal point 1 2 3 4 5 6. That means 2925 10 to the into 10 to the Minus six because when we go right side, the power of the ten becomes negative. So again, multiplication we convert into addition. Log of two nine two five plus log of ten to the power minus six. So log of two nine two five we have the value three point four six six one two and here plus minus minus n. Minus six. So here keep it on. So here eight minus two, eight. Again here remains nine. Nine minus one, 
8 9 means 9 9 minus 6 3 9 minus 6 3 9 minus 5 4 5 and here 5 minus 3 2 but since the 6 was in negative it was in positive so the result will be negative that means 2.5338 minus 2 1 5 3 3 8, 8 but since we have found here logarithm so as we get the result negative we know that matrix sign cannot be negative since the negative signs come at the in front of the number that means this whole number is in negative and we know that this part is matrix sign since matrix sign cannot be negative then we have to make it positive so how will we make it positive so minus 2 <coughs> here we can write this one minus 2 minus 0.5338 but this is the matrix a matrix a but cannot be negative so we have to make it positive how will we make it positive so we have to add 1 and then minus 1 so give minus 1 plus 1 if we give minus 1 and plus 1 then they will get cancelled when they will get cancelled we will get the same value <coughs> so for that minus 1 is given as our wish so to cancel it we have to give plus 1 so then minus 0. 5, 3, 3, 8, 8. So here it becomes minus, minus 3 and here we have to subtract this number from 1. That means 1.0000 since 5 digits are there and 0.5338. 3, 3, 8, 8. So here 10 minus, carry 1, 10 minus 8, 2. Here remains 9, 9 minus 8, 1. Here remains 9, 9 minus 3, 6. Here remains 6. And here remains 4. And decimal number. So now it becomes positive. 0 0.46612. Now this part is the characteristic part. So we have to write. Since the characteristic is negative, we have to write 3 bar. And this, if we want to join them, 0 0.46612. Now, this is the actual answer where 3 is the characteristic. Now, it implies that this negative part is only in front of the characteristic, not in front of the main disabled. So, this is the second one. And last one is given. This is easy log of. 292500. So if we want to make it 2925, we have to write like that 2 log of 2925 into 00 is there, that means 100 is multiplying, that means 10 is square. So log of 2925 plus log of 10 is square. <coughs> log of 2925 was given 3. Point 4, 6, 6, 1, 2 plus this log of 10 square is 2 that means 5.46612 so this is the characteristic and this part is in this case both are in positive so we no need to add 1 or subtract 1 so this is the characteristic so here you can verify here the total number of digit is 6 so we know that when total number of digit is 6 in non decimal numbers and characteristic is less than the number of digit so 5 so it is matching here so this is the solution of question number 2 so for today this much in the next video we will solve the other problems from your same exercise thank you